Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, firstly, you can see that Sally's with us. Uh, for all those who've been following us for a little while, you'll recognize Sally's van. We help Sally out from time to time. For those who are new, she's an old friend of mine and we're gonna be traveling in Europe sometimes together and I'm just giving her a hand on her van and it's nice to have another van buddy to hang out with and bash ideas out. Um, but first and foremost, before I go any further, I just wanna say, Wow, what happened last week with that video? Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Adrian, single father to 13-year-old twins, John and Ella. Hi. Our journey began in Thailand, where I used to work as an underwater cameraman, and that's where I met their mom. Tragically, we lost her during the birth in Bangkok. I later moved back to the UK to be closer to family. Now, nine years later, I'm home educating the kids and planning exciting adventures. I've always known the transformative power of travel and I want my children to experience it while they're still young enough to want to go with their old dad. We converted my trusty work van into a cozy camper van to embark on incredible journeys. Our future plan is to upgrade to a bigger van and make a more permanent home in Europe. Join us on our journey as we explore the world, learn and grow together. I recorded that video in my van on my way to work because I thought I've got nothing to put out this week. I just need to record something and I've got a few things I want to say. I clipped it on my dashboard, started driving and speaking, thinking, oh, people might not like this. They're wanting van conversions and stuff. <laughs> and what happened? It's exploded. One week later, it's at 11,000 views. It's bought, brought in uh, about 500 subscribers. So we're now at about two and a half thousand subscribers. It's just exploded. I can't thank you enough. Wow, I didn't realize it would resonate so much with everyone. I'm just blown away. Now with uh, all the new subscribers and all the views, what's happened is I've suddenly started getting more emails regarding doing reviews and sponsorships and things like that, as you would expect. I was getting these before, but they weren't really things that I was interested in dealing with, but now they are. So prepare yourselves. We are gonna start doing a few little reviews on the videos. The first one I think you might be interested in because I have been waiting for this to arrive for a very long time and I'm incredibly excited. This is a water filter. Now, from what I understand, we are able to throw the hose pipe on one end pretty much into a lake or a river and then turn the filter on and out the other end comes uh, regular tap water that we can use for washing up and having showers and stuff like that, but it will also produce perfect drinking water. Stay tuned, later on, I'm gonna be having a look at this and we'll do our first ever little review on this channel. There's loads more happening. Um, I've also got ordered one of these windows like Sally's got here. I've got one of those coming for our van. So we'll be moving on to our van next week. I've been getting uh, a roof rack on for Sally yesterday. We're not gonna film any of that because you've seen me doing mine. And for those who are new, you can go back and see us doing that one. But what we are gonna look at on Sally's van, and it should be arriving today from Amazon, is a much more budget-friendly way of ventilating the van. It's like a PC fan, like you have on your computer, with like a mushroom vent on top. Now, we found units that were selling for about, around about the 40 pounds mark. Uh, Pre-built, it's got the, the mushroom to go on top, and then it's got the piece that comes underneath with the, the PC fan inside it. We've ordered two of those and we're gonna try fitting those on Sally's and I can temporarily wire them up and see how they go. Right, like I said, we got the roof rack done. All good, we didn't need to see that because we've seen that before. There's Sally. Hiya. For all you new subscribers out there, that's Sally. You will see more of her here, there, everywhere, every now and then in Europe here, having work done on the van. And Gypsy. And Gypsy, we've got Gypsy as well. This has just arrived from Amazon. This was the cheap option, option, cheap option for ventilation I was telling you about. It is quite literally just a PC fan inside a mushroom vent with oh, a bit of duct in, which we can cut to any size we want. And then you've got a little uh, vent for the inside with a switch. We have already plugged this into a 12 volt supply to make sure that the fan works. But what we're gonna have to do, because the plan here is to have one of these fans at the front blowing air in and one at the back near the kitchen sucking air out. So it'll give us a bit of a circulatory airflow. Only problem is these fans only go in one direction. So what we're gonna do is see if we can dismantle this, take the fan out, flip it around, put it back in. Here we go. Pop that off there. It's good for camouflage and things this floor, yeah. I've noticed. Then inside here, we've got a fly screen, which is quite handy, which will just pop off. And then we should be able to take that fan out. That's nice and neat and tidy. 
this screw's not even in. <laughs> yeah, whoever was in the factory fitting this together did one on it. I'd had enough that day. It's round, I think they've round threaded it. No one will ever see this again. I can leave one not done. Little did they know who they were sending it to. That should now, by all accounts, just go. Flip. Flip. Oh, that's the one that got the guy in the factory. Goes back on. There. Ah, now, actually, in order to screw this to the roof, mm -hmm. that needs to be off. So we'll leave that off. Okay, yep. Leave them with it. Let's test it and see if it does the uh, the suck rather than blow. Or is it blow rather than suck? I don't know. It all sounds rude anyway. Right, we're going next door to my van. Let's go. Hello, mittens. Because in here, some of you might remember when we plugged in the Max Air fan, I've got this extension. I've got a 12 volt extension so we can test fire this thing. Here we go. Plug it in down here. So that's now blowing air into the van. Perfect. That's brilliant. Right, so that's great. That works beautifully. Now we're gonna have to make a hole in the roof. I have got two hole saws. This one's a tiny bit too small. This one's a tiny bit too big. We're not gonna go and get another one. Just gotta make the decision whether we go with a small one and file it bigger if we have to. Bit of a pain in the bum. We go with a slightly bigger one. And I think what we're gonna do anyway is make uh, a wooden frame for underneath, just like we did with the Max Air fan. Again, if you haven't watched that video, go back and have a look. So the screws, when they come through the roof, can uh, grab hold of the wood and sandwich the wood and the uh, fan together uh, around the skin of the roof. And uh, lots of Sikaflex in there, and no water's ever getting in. So I think we'll try that. We'll make, do some experiments with the wood first. So we've run a quick experiment here on a piece of five mil ply and we decided to go with the bigger hole. It's just gonna be too much faff cutting that and then having to make the hole a little bit bigger just to squeeze the thing in. This way, if we've got plywood underneath, sandwiching it in, it's not going anywhere. It's gonna be a real good tight uh, seal. So let's cut some wooden bits to go underneath and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Ooh. Okay. We've got two of these now. The other fan is not arriving till tomorrow, so we'll have to do that tomorrow, but we're gonna have a go at making a hole in the front there. We will Sikaflex this up. We will mark up and drill the holes. Actually, we'll drill the holes first, then we'll Sikaflex this up to the ceiling. Then we put the, uh, the fan in, j -j 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 screw it in. Job's done, almost, really, without wiring it up. Forget what I just said, it's now the following day. We ran out of time, we had to go to screw fix for things and then we needed to eat. So let's continue where we left off. Time to make a hole. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this off here and I'm gonna make a pilot hole from underneath then we know exactly where it needs to be. Then we're gonna put some sort of catch system thing to get all the metal shards because if they get around the place they rust and just make a mess. <laughs> Bags. <laughs> <laughs> we clearly didn't plan this out. Sally needs stilts. Oh, well done. There we go. Trap inside the roof. Let's go up to the roof. Apart from we had a bit of a hoover malfunction, but I think we've got it in, uh, under control. I am now going to deburr the edges and then Sally will put some paint on, won't you Sally? Yes. Ah! <laughs> Are we doing the obligatory looking through the hole? <laughs> <laughs> right, we're happy with that hole. It's all cleaned up and ready. Sally's going to put a bit of hammer eye, but we thought we'd be clever and we'll make the hole here as well. And that way we're done with the painting and the hoovering and stuff. And we're back on the roof. I didn't film any of the pilot hole and putting the bin bag up, you've seen that. But I think you like to watch the satisfying hole, hole drilling, don't you? Yeah, come on, let's do that, shall we? And here comes Sal. Hey <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Sally's getting the last of the hammerite on up there. We're going to wait for that to dry, have a cup of tea. And then after that, we get to fit the first one. Then we wait for the other one from Amazon. Fantastic. <laughs> Right, if you didn't notice that, there was a little bit of panic then. <laughs> and I'm still against the clock here. I made a mistake, which can happen, um, because I cut this hole a little bit bigger, and as you saw, the screw holes are really close to the edge. I wasn't thinking, well, of course, that's the same as the wooden hole I've just made. That also is too big. So I've had to very, very quickly make another one before this Sikaflex goes off, because I'd like to reuse it, because we're running out. Right, I'll just run up and see if that's centered. Right, that should be holding itself now. Okay, so I can let go? You can indeed. You're right there, I'll just pop you on the other side while I do this. Uh, can you see? Yes, you can see. Very good. Turned out quite nice, that one. That's the hammerite you can see around the edges, not my lovely Sikaflex work. I think that's really come up nice. Um, I'm going to put the top on this. We're going to give it a little test run, and then, uh, then we'll move on to the next one. Very good. Actually, no, tell a lie. Uh, after we've tested it, we're going to go to screw fix, and I'm going to get like a sanding drum for the drill, because that will help me make the next piece of wood without the same amount of stress, which would be lovely. Buddy. Okay, Sally has made a connection. The top is on. Flick it on. It is. It might not be in the cigarette lighter properly. Is that working now? Okay, I've put it in my adapter, but let's change it and put it in the main. <laughs> nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Yes! Extraction, we have extraction. Right, we've been to screw fix and I have bought some of these sanding drum things for my drill. Never owned any of these, never needed them for whatever reason. So that was what I was lacking in order to quickly enlarge the hole to get it over that. And I was really racing against the Sikaflex going off. So <laughs> now we're going to take this one at a much more leisurely pace. <laughs> Okay, same process as before, but quicker this time. have it with the roof rack and some little air vents. Sally's roof is looking a lot more camper vanny, I think is how you put yeah, it. a lot more camper vanny. 
Okay, there's nearly no power left on this camera, so hopefully it's going to just last enough. We've wired it all up, and we're going to test them. Plug it in, Sal. That one's on suck. And that one's on blow. Kind of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all you're going to get, unless you have a Max Air fan. <laughs> Perfect, so that will nicely draw the air through the, the van and keep it ventilated. It should indeed. Mission success. So we will wrap it up for today, but then I think the next thing is we're gonna have a look at that water filter, but I'm probably gonna do that tomorrow. Hi folks, and welcome to the first ever Life Uncharted product review. My name's Adrian. And I'm John. And this is the Itterhill water filter. Should we open it up? Yep. Go. So we have a water filter. Packaging stuff. That can go over there for now. Go and pull that out. That is the filter itself. Get rid of that. There we go. Nice little unit. And then here we have a box of bits and bobs. One of those is for drinking water and the other one is just for purified water. We have also got filters which are going to go into these two slots here. So first things first, John, I think we need to open up these filters. Now, like I say, from re reading the instructions, I know already that we're gonna have to run this with normal water for 10 minutes just to get the filters cleaned through before we can try it with some actual mucky water. That's a hybrid filter. That's the one that gets out all the little particles and bits and pests and stuff like that. This is a reverse osmosis, which takes out fluoride apparently, which is one of the reasons I want it. And this is what gives us our clean drinking water. In. There we go. Push it down. Twist it around to the lock position. And if you can see that, they are in and ready to go. This is the long hose. So you can throw this effectively out into a lake, into a river, scoop up some water in a bucket and put it in the bucket. It's got a little filter on the end. And this Nope, not that side. This screws in on this side. Oof. Thank you, mister. So let's call the white one the drinking water one, shall we? Mm -hmm. And they just look like push fit. It just pushes in, it's a push fit connection. Can you also drink the blue one? No, the, the blue one's not for drinking. That's just clean water that we can use for washing the dishes and stuff. Oh. This thing is set up and ready to go. But what about power, I hear you ask? It's actually got its own battery. We were charging it last night. It is a USB charger. So that's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to run it for 10 minutes, like we said, uh, with clean water just to get it ready. Then we'll go and get some buckets of water from the stream and we'll try filtering off the dirty water. Back in a minute. All right, so we have run this with tap water for 10 minutes, and now we are gonna head down to the stream with a bucket, and I have to say it's one of my old builder's buckets, so this is really gonna put it to the test. John's got a jug. Let's go down to the stream and get some water. We have got the hose end in the bucket of stream water. We have got two glasses for a taste test afterwards. We have got a bottle with some of our distilled water from the kitchen. We only drink distilled water in the house, not the tap water. Um, we, some, we use the bottled water as well, but this is what we're gonna use to compare it. John, could you go and get me, we need another glass bottle for collecting water. This thing's ready to go. We will put the blue domestic water into that bowl there. I hope the wind is not disturbing things too much because it's very, very windy here and the weather's coming. 
Glass bottle. Thank you, mister. In there. Would you like to do the honours and turn it on, John? Hold the power button for a few seconds. Four seconds. Four seconds, is it? Oh, okay. And this thing is now running. You can't actually hear it because it's so quiet. I can't hear it stood here. I really, really can't. I can just hear it here. And then when I get really close, I can hear the motor whirling. So absolutely amazing, very impressed. As you can see, it's already spluttering through some of the domestic water. That just goes through the hybrid filter rather quickly. Oh, just having a bit of a gurgle and a think. And then here comes the drinking water that's gone through the reverse osmosis. There it is. Ella has very kindly agreed to come down and be our taste guinea pig. So we'll just let that fill up a little bit and we'll get straight onto that. Would you like to go and get Ella? Yes, I would like to go get Ella. Go and get the Elle. <laughs> right, what I'm going to do before Ella gets here is I am going to mark a glass and a bottle and that will be the distilled water from the kitchen. Let's move this thing out of the way. Hi Elle. Hi. How are you doing? Look everyone, we've got an Ella. She's come to join the gang. And of course, Sally's still with us. <laughs> Elle, we've got two different bottles, two different glasses. I know which one the tape is, and you know, but well, you don't know which one the tape is. They know which one the tape is because they've just uh, heard me tell them. There you go. Bearing in mind that what she's going up against is distilled water, so it's already as pure and clean as it can possibly be. Yeah, I can, it just tastes like normal water, really. Can you tell a difference between them? Which one, or do you have a, pre a preference, or? This one tastes like clear, but this one just tastes like, yeah, it tastes like good water. Yeah. Can you tell which one you think might be which? Which is the one you're used to drinking? This one might be the one that I'm used to drinking, maybe. Ah, that is actually the filtered water. Ah. This is the one you normally drink from our distiller in the kitchen. So as you can see, distilled water and the filter, she can hardly tell the difference quite clearly. Yeah, this one's kind of like, feels, I can tell the difference. Can you can tell, tell the difference. Kind of, yeah. Oh, Mittens, do you want to test? Do you want to <laughs> test it? You want to see what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to drink a bit of that? No, thanks for your input anyway. So... <laughs> she came to say goodbye. She did, she's come to... Mittens is telling us it's time to end the video. So, as with any good YouTube review, <laughs> there is a link below in the description for the water filter that's hidden behind the cat. Um, so please feel free to jump on there, but otherwise... Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing this and we're going to see you next week. We will be back on our van next week, I promise. See you later, bye-bye. Bye-bye.